Welcome back to another special edition of Airborne Unlimited. It's Sun and Fun, day two. I'm your host, Holland Lee. The staff of the Aero News Network and Sun and Fun have once again partnered to bring you all the news from the show via the Sun and Fun Digital Daily at snfdd.com. Today's show is brought to you by King Schools. Now through April 8th, get 25% off King Schools courses with the code ANN25. Coming up on the program today, Velocity's Twin Turbine gets to Sun and Fun. Robinson has a new boss. Microair Avionics gets small for Sun and Fun. These stories and more coming up on today's Sun and Fun Digital Daily Special Edition of Airborne Unlimited. First up, Velocity's Twin Turbine gets to Sun and Fun. It's fast and getting faster, but the Velocity folks are now flying yet another version of the Twin Velocity, this one with dual turboprop power plants. It's brand new and the bird is in development right now, but the initial results are promising. Okay, you look at, they've seen the Twin Velocities, they're gorgeous, they've been running around the country, they're having a great time. You've seen the diesel one, but turbine? Okay, tell me the story of this project. Well, this this starter project, we, we were able to get these engines back, what? eight, ten years ago for $85,000 each uh, from PBS. And they were in the process of trying to sell them more, right? They were marketing them more. So one of our single engine velocities had a PBS, they actually bought three of them. And they were gonna build a twin as, eventually as well, the six place twin with them. But they built a single, and then we got two engines to build the twin. Finally got to the point where we, we need to fly it. So I, I decided to, you know, man up and fly the thing. I did a few taxi tests, and then he, he, he was going to go with me for the test flight, so we did that actually a week ago uh, on Monday. So, um, so all went well, and uh, we haven't really got the speeds up yet, but all the power comes from 80% to 100% power. Yeah. I approach at 80 mm -hmm. in one, and that's like 110 knots. Um, we even upgraded the brakes with the half-inch discs to make sure we could get it stopped. And there's still some concern on the first landing, but it was nothing. Yep. So that was that was good. So we really had no issues. We, uh, I flew it a couple times, and then Vic flew it a couple times more uh, with Brian in the plane before we brought it over here um, on Friday. It, it's been in process for a long time. Finally get it here. I really was excited to fly this back five years ago, and then when it didn't get flown for a long time, I, I kind of was... Let's get somebody else to do it, but it turns out we're very straightforward. And actually only having two levers is, is tremendous instead of six of them. Yep. And everything just needs to be done really slow on the turbines, and it comes back really slow. Robinson Helicopter has a new boss. The late Frank Robinson's little helicopter company has grown remarkably and has gone way past what he told us he originally envisioned for Robinson Helicopters. With a new R88 model just announced and new leadership, RHC has much to talk about. Verticon was just a few uh, weeks ago yep. that uh, Vertical Aviation International ha hosted in Dallas. So I got to see the uh, R88 uh, and the uh, it was it was a pretty it was great uh, news for the industry. Tell me a little bit about the background of the 88 and uh, what you look at for timeline uh, and its progression. Yeah, so first I think the 88 is an aircraft that again Frank always wanted to build, and I think um, if Frank had more time and he, he we were blessed to have as many years as we did with Frank. But I think overall this is one of those things that they wanted to start. Kurt wanted to start it. Pete, uh, our, our recently uh, past uh, VP of engineering, they all wanted to start this, but they didn't want to start it and not finish it. So they waited until we had the, the recent additions of uh, Sean Doyle, who leads engineering, and myself coming on board so that we could be both there for the beginning of the, the critical design phases and all of the certification and productionization. So that's why now, and that's why it's been, been in work for many years, but the really in earnest these last two years since Sean and I joined. The exciting part about the aircraft itself is I think it, it serves a mission that the aviation industry needs in, in fixed wing, it needs in rotary wing, it needs robust aircraft that are accessible and can be deployed all over the world in missions that sometimes they're a people mover, sometimes they're an equipment mover, sometimes they move critical supplies for aid. Um, firefighting is going to be an emerging need and we do see it as, as a tool that can be transformative for the industry. I, I, I think our industry is healthiest when we're doing a lot of new product development and I know it's hard for businesses to commit themselves to something like that with today's investments and in, in sort of public company thinking. Um, I love that we're private. We, we don't have that, that overhang. This is what we do. I mean, we have to have new product. We have to, to give, give our engineers something exciting to work on and give our dealers and service centers something to look forward to. And I think these are all optimistic parts of why we chose when we chose to announce it. And coming up after the break, Microair Avionics gets small for Sun and Fun. 
Spring is in the air and it's time to go flying. Whether you've been flying all winter or have some rust to remove, we have some great news. Our spring 25% off sale has just started, but it only lasts for the next six days. You'll want to take advantage of this sale through April 8th by using the code SUN. And we'll see you at, at Sun and Fun. Fun. I'm a pilot and aviation enthusiast myself. For me, the most exciting model I've ever manufactured was my own. It's just the coolest feeling to have on display a plane that you've personally connected with over the years. Show off that passion for aviation. You know, if you own a general aviation airplane and you want the world to know about it, put it on your desk. Inspire the next generation. If you want to share your love for aviation with a friend or family member, shop our great selection of aircraft models today. Sensenik to me is an iconic aviation brand. Here we go, we're taxiing out. First rip on the new prop. Bump bottle now. This prop is really, really bites. So you picked up a little bit. Oh, yeah, about 15 miles an hour. Oh, that's quite a bit. Something we worked really hard at Sensenik the last five years is to try and combine the best performance both at low speed and high speed with our composite props. And I really think on this one, we've done it. Welcome back to Sun and Fun at Lakeland Linder International Airport. If you've seen something especially cool around the Sun and Fun grounds today, be sure to use hashtag SNF25COOL on your social media posts. We would love to check it out. Micro Air Avionics gets small for Sun and Fun. Panel space in our airplanes comes at a premium, especially the experimental and LSA generation. Diminutive avionics with exceptional capabilities are much in demand, and Micro Air seems ready to fill the need. Micro Avionics is based in Brisbane, Australia, um, and I suspect most of you would have flown something that had our equipment on it at some point. We've been making radios and transponders now for 25 years, or 26 years, sorry. Um, we have over 25,000 of those flying and about 15,000 of those uh, here in the US. Um, a couple of years ago, we decided it was time to, to reinvent the product line. And uh, at Oshkosh uh, last year, we launched the T3000 suite. What we did is we took our, our radio and we shrunk it to a third of the size. We took our transponder, shrunk it to the third of the size, packed them together, and then packed a full navigation suite um, in with that. The spin-off from that from Oshkosh was a, a, a standalone static probe system. And the feedback was that people wanted an angle of attack system, and we didn't have that in the, in the core system. Um, and our certified customers, I should say, all our radios and transponders have always been certified. The T3000 initially is um, LSA and experimental. But the feedback was that the certified guys wanted a quick way of getting some of our really bright um, displays into their aeroplanes. And the PSP was that. And I can say that, that literally as of today, um, we have received our FAA NORSI approval for that, that product. Flight Club has an access solution for GA. The Flight Club program is off and running, and with the added power of an exceptional insurance program to back it up, getting a hold of a cool airplane is more accessible than ever. The first rule about Flight Club is you have to tell everyone about Flight Club. The innovation that we want to present to you today is one of the challenges that we often had uh, was with insurance. Okay? Insurance had limitations in terms of the number of pilots that could get approved under a policy, uh, ambiguities in terms of whether uh, this kind of aircraft sharing was allowed under certain policies. And so what we've implemented um, and have uh, been adding aircraft to our policies, we have a central fleet policy. Um, and aircraft owners get to add their planes to our policy. And so it's unlimited pilots. We've got million dollars of liability coverage. The pilots need to go through our approval process. But this is simply just to make it easier so that that one barrier is now out of the way through what we're offering with Flight Club. Do you want to add anything else, Paul? Um, yeah, we, there's some really cool aircraft if you're into aircraft, which I'm sure you all are. Uh, check out flightclub.life. Come visit at uh, NE4748. There's Super Decathlon, SR22, a bunch of 150s, 182s, 172s, Moonies, everything you'd expect to see, and a little bit more. I think even in Austin, there's a Challenger 600. Um, but <laughs> thank you guys so much for listening. I hope you really enjoy this week, and I hope the weather stays nice for us. After the break, find out how you can win a plane tag from an SR-71.
backcountry flying to us is our playground. For us, it's how we access the things we like to do. It's just our lifestyle. We exclusively use the, the Hartzell Voyager prop, and it's proved to be um, just a great combination for what we do. What it's doing, it's, it's helping us all have better performing airplanes. Man, it feels a lot better clearing trees by 50 feet versus 20 feet. I don't ever see myself not flying. The legendary BD4C program is building an exciting future for those who want a rugged four-seat family flyer with a proven history. The SureWings program produces a complete kit and builder assist program that gives you everything you need to be flying a BD4CS in record time. For conventional kit builders, BD Aviation has parts, partial kits, and full kits for the 190 mile per hour BD4C that has logged thousands of hours. Visit SureWings.com and BDAviation.com for more details. Welcome back. Plane Tags is releasing more tags from an SR-71. Find out how you can win one at Sun and Fun. Plane Tags has made a name for itself with hundreds of aircraft that have been turned into kitschy little collective mementos that have become enormously popular. Now though, they may have the ultimate collectible, a plane tag featuring materials from an actual SR-71. We actually have a brand new stabilizer that came in. Uh, it actually found us, we didn't find it. and. Um, so it was funny, it was the first SR-71 we came out with. Lockheed came to us and said, how did you get this? And so we actually had to delay the launch to get Lockheed's approval. So these are all uh, you know, licensed by Lockheed Martin. So we'll now be launching our second SR-71, July 10th. Uh, but the one that we're giving away right now was from the first release that sold out many, many months ago. And uh, we held a couple back just for these special giveaways. So it seems to be everyone's favorite aircraft. So when we release it July 10th, we'll probably do a three-day sale, and then we'll take it offline. We'll have some available for Oshkosh, and then we'll do a, another re-release for Christmas. We'll start about $300 and go up. Most of them will be closer to the, the $1,000 range, only because we have such a request for it. We did pay a lot for the stabilizer. They, they knew the value of it, but we knew that we had the audience for it, so that's why we secured it. We're hoping to do a 3,000 tag release off of it. So we'll have in, interior skins and exterior skins. Okay. And the interior skins, what it is, is that com it's, a, it's composite. So the only titanium you really have is where it connected to the aircraft itself. Right. And then the rest of it is composite material. So the composite is so thick that we're able to cut it in half and then use the inner skin part for the more of a, a more affordable SR-71 part versus the exterior skins will be more of the premium uh, tag. This is uh, one of two that we're giving away this week. And if you come over to our plane tags booth here and from Hangar A, we're giving one away this evening towards the end of the show, and we'll also be giving another one on Saturday. All you gotta do is sign up and uh, you'll be in the, in the giveaway. Avidine closes in on Vantage 12. A long time in development, Avidine is close to the finish line with a new glass panel system that should drop in where previous Avidine generations used to reside and really increase the versatility of today's digital cockpits. Today I just want to give an update on our Vantage 12 system and the upgrade that we're doing for the Cirrus. We're taking these old Integra equipped Cirruses, there are many of them, and bringing them forward with modern technology. Vantage 12 provides 12 inch glass, which is huge. Touch screens and hybrid touch, so we got knobs and buttons plus touch. Synthetic vision is something these airplanes don't have yet. Uh, we're talking airplanes from 2002 to about 2008 that are all Integra equipped. And the big one for them is uh, dual redundant uh, AHARs, so uh, they can fly through a PFD failure and not even disconnect the autopilot. So uh, it's very tightly integrated with our IFDs and our DFC-90 autopilot. Again, over 4,000 of these airplanes are candidates for Vantage 12. We've developed an easy install kit that makes it super quick to transfer from the 10 inch glass to the 12 inch glass. Between the easy adapter harness and these little easy adapters, there's only eight, excuse me, eight wires to hook up in the airplane, plus power to the new uh, air data computers. So everything else is already pre-wired. And we, own, we provide our own panels as well that are pre-cut for dealers to make that transition easier. You can see here, everything just plugs into the adapters and uh, you're on your way. It's, and within a week, you can turn this airplane. 
And that wraps up our second day here at Sun and Fun 2025. Once again, thank you to our sponsor, King Schools. Now through April 8th, you can get 25% off King Schools courses with the code ANN25. Be sure to stay up to date with all the latest Sun and Fun news at snfdd.com and follow us on social media. We'll see you back here tomorrow.